Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Kunal Patel and today we are going to see very complex topics in NumPy that is known as the broadcasting, right? So broadcasting at a first look, it is very complex, but if you practice it for two, three times, then it is very easy to understand, right? So I have explained this broadcasting topic in this video in a very easy manner. So what is the meaning of broadcasting? Broadcasting allows us to make arithmetic operations on a different size of shapes, right? First of all, you need to follow three basic rules for the broadcasting, right? First rule, if the two arrays differ in the number of dimensions, the shape of the one with fewer dimension is paired with the ones at the left hand side. So first of all, you need to check the shapes of both the arrays on which you are going to perform the arithmetic operations. If the shapes are differ, then you have to follow rule number one. Rule number two, if the shapes of two arrays does not match in any dimension, the array with the shape equals to one in the dimension is trashed to the match to other arrays, right? If the dimensions are not same, but you can stretch the one particular array to match with the another. And the third, if in any dimension, the size is disagree or neither it is equal to one, an error is raised. So let's take one example. Here two arrays I have created A and B. So first of all, you have to check the shape. So four and the shape of B is three. Now I'm going to perform the operation A plus B on both the arrays. Now it gives me error that operands could not be broadcast together with the shape four and three, right? So first of all, you have to apply all these three rules on this, then and then you can understand. So according to the rule number one, if two arrays differ in the number of dimensions, but here the dimensions are same, right? So we can't apply rule number one. Similarly, rule number two says, if the shape of two arrays does not match in any of the dimensions, right? But here both the dimensions are same. So rule number two is also not applicable. Right, so we directly go for the rule number three. So if we hit the rule number three, the final shapes does not match. Final shapes does not match. So these two arrays are incompatible. The final sizes do not match, right? So here you can see that, okay? Here you can see that four and three sizes are not match so it will give us the error right now let's uh, let's take one another example here i have created three arrays the dimensions or you can say the shapes of a is three comma two b shape is three and c shape is two right so one is 2d array and another two are uh, you can say one dimension array now first of all i'm going to perform the addition of a and b right so after executing that it is giving me the error okay so why it is giving me the error let's understand so according to the broadcasting rules you need to first apply the rule number one check the shapes both the shapes are different okay so we can go for rule number one we see by rule number one that array b has a fewer dimension yes three has a fewer 1D array and A is a 2D array. So we need to pad once at the left hand side. So here now B becomes 1 comma 3, right? So here you can see the B is stretched to match with the A, right? So 3 comma 2 and 3 comma 3, right? So here if you apply the rule number 3, that the sizes do not match. Again, I have made a mistake over here. Sizes do not match. So these two arrays are incompatible and it is giving us the error. It is giving us the error. So here two and three, the sizes of final shapes are 
not matching not getting match right so it is giving us the error now let's understand one another scenario now i am adding a plus c a with the c right so here you can see the shapes are 3 comma 2 and 2 here again c has the fewer dimension so i need to pad 1 to the left hand side so 1 comma 2 and now after applying that c is stretched to match with the a so 3 comma 2 and 2 comma 2 so now my final sizes are matched 2 and 2 right so here two arrays are compatible and it produces the output it produces the output so you can see what is the my final output what will be the final output higher the shape is the output right so which is the higher shape three comma two three rows and two columns so here you can see the output will be in the form of three rows and two columns i hope you can understand right now let's take one another example so your ideas will be your concepts will be very clear over here okay now here uh, you can see that i have created two arrays again okay now this particular array has this particular shape right three comma one okay and b has a shape of three only so this is a 2d array this is a 1d array now i am going to make the addition of a and b so again you need to apply the rules each and every rules one by one so first of all you have to check the shape if the shapes are different then and then you have to apply the rule so here yes shapes are different okay now apply rule number one that array b has a fewer dimension so we paired one to the left hand side so again one to the left hand side and three go for the rule number two the first dimension of b is stretched to match the a so three three here stretch with the both side to match the a size right now you can apply the rule number three that final shapes are matched final sizes are matched so two arrays are compatible and produces the output right so it is giving us the output as three rows three columns right so i hope guys you can understand the scenario okay it is very easy but you have to do a lot of practice for these broadcasting topics right so please uh, repeat this video okay and try to understand the each and every example what i have explained over here okay right okay take care bye